Today we're doing a student-led conference talking about our digital portfolios that we made throughout the year. About my first semester as a freshman throughout my classes. It's very rare that it's acceptable to brag. So Definitely a new experience for me. I think it's very important for us as individuals. You know, this is a big school and it does take a lot for us to interact and talk about ourselves. And even as freshmen, I think we should acknowledge our strengths and our weaknesses and talk about things that we're capable of. I like it we reflect on how the students have gone throughout the year or throughout the semester of their first year in high school. I just turned in my end of unit for this unit and I was so proud of it. I worked so hard and I am just very excited to tell you about it. I am really proud of my unit two which is culture and identity and it's my short story and it was the mid-unit assessment for unit two mm -hmm. and it explains kind of how my family is and where I really found my place in my family after a experience I had with my grandfather so it's I feel like I did really good I felt like the pacing was well done and I got an 100 on the assignment. So my end of unit for unit four was basically about I decided to talk about the patriarchy because you could choose like a topic within social justice and I decided to talk about the patriarchy and how it negatively affects men and women and so I wrote about that I got like this is the first thing that I actually like got feedback for and acted on. <laughs> for my final essay, I did true crime. I'm very okay. into psychology and mm -hmm. all that. Um, that's probably what I'm going to major in going into college because I want to go out of state. And I found it very interesting going through the cases and how a lot of the things that we've done in the past, we continue to do. Mm. And we haven't really learned from our mistakes. I um, was so interested in it and people like have conversations now and I'm like oh I was doing research for the for the end of unit and I can bring it up like I can use it in day-to-day -day conversation the things that I've learned from it and I think it's really good and we have to actually do this thing about how stuff is adapted and adopted from original and then new stuff it was a little slideshow and I talked about how Romeo and Juliet and The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, is um, okay. <laughs> connected. Our mid unit was to write a narrative um, based off of like a dream or alternating, alternating experience that we've had in our life. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I wrote a narrative about how like my dream when I was younger was always to become a teacher like my mom or like a professional dancer. And it's changed over time for like growing older and still being in the dance world by noticing how many injuries can take people out of yeah. sports. Yeah. And um, that made me start thinking of what I want to do and that made me um, start going down the path of sports medicine and athletic training. It kind of re-sparked that love of writing that I had kind of lost over the pandemic, I'm being honest. We had to write an ace about it and an ace is like a uh, thing where you have your claim and then back it up with evidence. We had to we had to learn about how to write how to make a claim, uh -huh. an effective claim. That took me a really long time to get a good claim mm -hmm. for my thing. I revised it a million times because it was like you can't be too broad with it. I think I've understood the importance of how not having evidence doesn't back up your research claim or just your claim in general. Having background knowledge makes everything more valid. I like writing, like I like creative writing, mm -hmm. but I've never had to write like an essay mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I ha like I had for this specific project. And it helped me, I learned how to take feedback, how to do research, how to cite, oh my gosh. Having the stuff in the portfolio was real helpful to, for me, especially knowing where my strongest work is. From looking at this and then my last product I did, I can see that my evidence now is a lot more sufficient than it was in the beginning. Having the digital portfolio, you have evidence of your work and you continue to add on it. And it's an easy thing to access anytime, any place, just to continue to add stuff. I believe that it will really help me because a lot of things I may not remember if I don't do a portfolio and I feel like it can maybe bring me down if I don't remember all the good stuff or stuff that I need to improve on to become a better writer and a student in general. I think it's a really 
fun and cool way to capture memories, especially because I'm on sports team, um, I'm on swim, I'm on the varsity team, and I think it's a cool way to collect the data and show what, what our strengths and weaknesses are and where we can improve in the future. I think it would be cool to see like my first to my last or how I improved throughout those. I can look back on what I did when I actually put into the assignment and what it got me. I have a couple of in instances on here where it's like, I didn't put that much work in and I didn't get that good a grade <laughs> because I didn't. Um, and I have some that I, I put the work in and I, re like, I can see the results and I can reflect on it each time. Like you can almost see the growth. And the first one I did, it's like, hey, this is all right. And it just keeps getting better. Mm -hmm. Like I'm really proud of the last one that I put in there because I can reflect, oh, well that wasn't, I, that wasn't my best work and it could be better and this is how I could do that. I think just like how we take pictures on our phones over the years, it's just kind of like a memory capsule. And as you look, you see where you've grown and where you've started and how you can continue to blossom into college or so on and so forth. Like being able to see the growth I have without like having to dig through every ex assignment that I've had through classroom or like say if I had paper assignments reading like looking through those and seeing the growth that I've had from um, unit one the family one and to unit four and how much growth I've had from writing like a single paragraph ace to a full essay. I feel like this stuff is really helpful in general because it doesn't just help me for college but it also yes. helps me maybe even further in the future for certain jobs. I do think it will just benefit you having your highest achievements and things that you've worked on and things that you haven't done so well on because it shows where your growth has. Whether it's the growth mindset, actually trying, it's just that digital representation of you actually putting in the effort. I'm really proud of myself this year. 